Uh, there are a couple of organizations in the beginning that uh, went into research that environmental journalists could actually take their studies and be able to um, uh, publish them and enlighten the public more. And the work of the environment journalists is quite different from other bits, uh, like judiciary, where they just go, uh, they see what happened in court, and they report the following day. For an environment journalist to actually convey his message to its audience, the environment journalist must be able to convey the message, one, by the use of photographs, two, by the use of in-depth research, uh, because, for example, you talk about pollution. If you're talking about pollution, how do you test pollution? Even scientifically, you need to know whether certain things are injurious to health. If the, the physically um, is unpleasant to the nostrils or to taste to all the senses, or through testing, chemical analysis in the laboratory, or um, any other data that is available to you. And there are institutes in Nigeria uh, that uh, carry all these researches. So an environment journalist need to work closely with those research institutes, with the experts. They need to know them and also uh, get along with them to be able to get some of these studies. And besides that, an environment journalist need to go back into history of science, either globally and also in Nigeria. Because if you don't have a knowledge from the past, you don't know what is happening in the present, and you cannot predict what might happen in the future. These are very crucial to environmental reporting. 